Well, the next story has been in the news all day and Kenya's tourism is staring at losses estimated at more than 5 billion shillings over the next five months attributed to new travel advisories issued by the traditional tourism sources, source markets rather. KTN's Philip Keitani takes a look. In solidarity, players in the tourism sector gathered in Nairobi to voice their displeasure with Britain for carrying out an economic sabotage in line with its travel advisory. A downturn in tourism will soon be felt in other productive sectors of the economy, including agriculture, food and beverage manufacturing, motor vehicle, and many more. The queue from the UK has been followed by other traditional source markets who have also warned their citizen to make only essential travel to Kenya's tourism heaven. This morning you have heard on BBC, uh, they lump some everything together and said that um, um, the travel advisory is uh, on Kenya. Sector players are already indicating that over 700 international tourists have been evacuated from the coastal region. Thousands others are being said to have cancelled their advanced booking. And to put an advisory that tells you it is safe to land at Moi International Airport, then not leave, uh, then jump uh, into Diani, is ridiculous to say the least. Compounding the issue is the cancellation of a week scheduled by the one of Britain's leading tour operators until October 2014. And uh, let the governments uh, uh, come forward and tell us exactly what the problem is. Then as uh, industry stakeholders, we will address it. In the face of all this, the national government is being blamed for slow response to terror attacks as the foundation of all the advisories. Philip Keitan, KTN Business. Kenya Airways is banking on uh, its recently acquired Boeing 787 Dreamliner to grow its regional and international market shares. The airline, currently one of three market leaders in the aviation sector, reckons that efficiency associated with the aircraft will give it leverage, especially along in long-haul destinations. The airline will premiere Dreamliners on its Nairobi to Paris route early next month. that time we are putting it on demonstration mode, we will put another fourth one where we bring in people 